performed by Walton High School Chorus. So four cars to share. The last one is a is a big one, but this one's not tiny. This is 2011 Bowman Platinum, a Ruby Parallel of Freddie Freeman, and this is a rookie card. It's one of those rookie cards that sort of flies under the radar of his. Uh, neat, neat parallels. This card uh, has a little scratch on the surface of the slab, and the seller did warn me about it. He told me that he had. He'd accidentally uh, scratched it uh, the previous weekend at a card show. So he gave me a heads up and, and asked me if I wanted out. But I decided I still wanted the card. So hopefully I'll be able to clean that up. Like I said, it's uh, one of three parallels to a base card. They all kind of have a little bit of a, ref um, I wouldn't call it a refractor sheen. It's more of a foilish kind of reflection to it. But neat, neat card. Uh, this card you may have seen already if you watched Brian Roth's uh, SGC submission reveal. He had a lot of really nice leaf cards. and This is a set I've always been interested in putting together as far as a Brave set. I just didn't think, uh, I, didn't think I would get a chance to pick up uh, cards this nice. Uh, you know, the um, registration is always kind of crazy on these cards, and these are actually pretty good. Uh, just a little bit off in places, but the um, the cards are so vivid. They look really, really nice. Both of these cards are from the quote unquote second sheet, so they're they're quite scarce. Uh, the Herald Riser is also on the second sheet and should be difficult to pick up. And Spawn will be somewhat difficult to pick up just because he's worn Spawn. So you know a lot more people are interested in that card. But it's an unusual set. There's um, the cards are numbered from 1 to 168, but they're actually only 96 distinct players. Uh, I guess two variations, so 98 cards altogether. Um, so really, really odd set. It has some very, very scarce cards, and it has uh, lots and lots of gaps, empty spaces. Uh, this is the big one I was talking about. 1935, Gaudi 4-1. and one. And this is one of the very few cards that features Babe Ruth as a Boston Brave. In fact, I can only think of one other card off the top of my head, and it's also a, a four-in-one card and, and slightly larger, and I think it's black and white. If the picture looks familiar, it's the same one they used, I guess, on the 33 Gaudi. There were, I know there were a number of variations, different uh, Ruth cards in that set, and there were none in the 34 set. But, uh, but you know, as a Braves collector, it was sort of a big deal to me to try to pick up a card with Ruth as a Brave during his playing days. And uh, very, very brief playing days. It was just on the Braves for, you know, I'm not even sure half a season. But uh, Rabbit Ranville is also on the card. Uh, that's uh, another Hall of Famer. Uh, I guess you may notice that, that they're, the backs, they form a puzzle, and I think that's Frankie Frisch. Someone can correct me if that's, if that's not true. But uh, any event, a uh, really, really neat card. Uh, it's part of a three-card Braves team set, which I'm trying to put together. Just one more card to pick up. But it's sort of cool because it's, you know... Well, I started to say 12 players, but there's a couple repeats, if you notice in the panel. I, I see Brant appears twice. Uh, well, maybe he was the only one that appears twice. But uh, So 11, 11 Braves featured in this set. But uh, 
Babe Ruth, Boston Braves. Hope you have a great rest of your week, and I will talk to you later. See you.